so many girlfriends that have fallen into this category, and I thought I needed to, um, I don't know, help them? <laughs> <laughs> I know your past indulgences have sometimes left you blue. I thought perhaps some guidelines could be of use to you. There are big red flags and warning signs you've missed along the way. Tell a girl without a doubt <laughs> if her young beau is gay. <laughs> Does he like Judy Garland? <laughs> Cause you really ought to know. <laughs> if he likes Judy Garland, <laughs> you may have to let him go. Does he get Barbra Streisand? Can he quote Le Cage Damon or Liv Singer? Writing might be on the wall. Does he give makeup tips? Love your shoe. Has he mastered the French braid? If he likes Judy Garland. Then you're never getting laid. <laughs> I swear. Here's the thing, folks. I mean, you've got to have the fire and passion and pizzazz in that romance, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. My homosexual friends are the perfect companions for travel and opera and shopping and dancing, dancing, dancing. Perfect escort. I mean, but, you know, in the sunset years, when all that fire and passion and romance is gone, I mean, then what are you left with but football? Does he get all your humor? Crying at weddings, love champagne. Call you up with his heartbreak. Loves to holiday in Spain. Of 
mine, and that more than I'd like to name, kept falling in love with gay men. Mm -hmm. The girls mm -hmm. kept falling in love with gay men. Now, these two girls have lots of gay men they're in love with. No, I get it. Oh, yeah. um, Swish, <laughs> here with Swish. First of all, before we get on the topic, talk to us a little bit about Swish. Sure, Swish is a gay straight alliance. We're eight years old, um, all volunteer organization. Uh, based here in New York. Yes. Yeah. 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 Anything in your team in New York is impressive. Right? Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, have fifteen hundred members currently. Wow. Um, um, gay, straight men, women, and um, our mission is to um, educate and involve the straight community to be partners um, for the LGBT movement. That's fabulous. But wait, I found out something. But what does Swish stand for? <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, basically, swish uh, basically means to. Oh crap! I forgot. I, know, yeah. <laughs> I should know this off the top of my head. Sorry. Well, okay. Used to. I'll give you the the genesis of swish. Originally, um, we call we call we're called straight women supported homos. Which you know, <laughs> the IRS loved that. Who <laughs> <laughs> went for violence? But um. Decided that you know the term swish is a bit of a pejorative. You know it's been used in a you know not such a nice way. So we decided to take the word back, and it basically means to you know make the movement uplifting and fun, and you know to to just be a champion for the movement, to swish for the movement, to you know. I'll use it in a sentence. All the stickers that are yes. on the table. Can yes. you do this? Ask me why I swish. Mm -hmm. So if you were asked. If you were to ask me in this moment, I'd say, I swish because my friends, Jason and Chris, deserve to be married. If that's what they want to do. Absolutely. Oh. That's <laughs> it's really great. I, I mean, I definitely agree, you know, it, it's it's nice to have our straight allies in order to work, you know, help with our rights and stuff like that. Because you definitely need, need that and even during, you know, what we're, you know, black folks and women were fighting for their rights, mm -hmm. right? We had to have Absolutely. allies too. It's human rights, you know. It's not. It's not for one yeah. group fighting for just themselves. And I think we saw that a lot with Prop Eight right. um, a couple of years ago. You know, I. I think um, my sort of view on that whole um, debacle yeah. <laughs> was that. Yeah. Was that California and the gay rights movement in California thought it was a slam dunk. They were only sort of um, speaking to their own family. Mm -hmm. um, didn't necessarily enroll straight allies or other people who, um, outside of the community, you know, who could be supportive. And I think they realized, you know, a couple weeks before um, when they were going to lose yeah, that uh, that was a big mistake. So. Um, you know, and Swish has been around since 2003, but I think um, the defeat of, of, um, of uh, well, the passage of Prop 8, um, I think has enrolled a lot of other straight allies um, in the movement mm -hmm. since then. And that's, and our membership has grown as a result of that. That's fabulous. But you ladies are also ladies who love men who love men. Absolutely. So, so and that's why you're here. <laughs> that's how we started. So is this, is this the term? <laughs> <laughs> is the term fag hag appropriate these days, or? We were just talking about how like over that term is. Okay. I, haven't, I actually haven't heard it used in like years. Well listen, yeah. my daughter is uh, very young. Anyway, uh, yeah, my daughter's 24, and uh, she oh, takes, I know, right? Oh, so about That's the lighting. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, you can her. I'm going to help her. Anyway, um, <laughs> she said that the new uh, kind of saying because she's taken from her mother, is a fruit fly. Fruit fly. <laughs> so, so just, yes. you know, attractive women who yeah. are in our, uh, independent that. and all that. But I've heard that. Have you heard that? That's kind of yeah. cute. Is that offensive? No. Fruit fly? Yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. any blank hag, never good. Yeah. No. So we, were talking, we were talking about that um, before we got out here. For ja at least for Jamie and me, that it was never, ever used towards us in a pejorative or derogatory way. It was always sort of in a celebratory way. And um, so both, uh, neither one of us see it as a, as a negative term at all. And it's, it's kind of, um, I mean, I look at it as a, a really endearing term, actually. Yeah. Right. That describes a really unique, special relationship that doesn't exist anywhere else. 
Well, the funny part yeah. is because we got in touch, the way that we got in touch was through a mutual friend, Jesse Archer, who actually yeah. Yeah. wrote yeah. a film about oh, it. Yeah. 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 And it was funny because when I asked him to come on because of his film, right, uh, Violet Pen, uh, so he said, I'm not, he's in Australia, he said, but I have the Queen Fag Hags for you. And he, he got us in touch. So it was funny, queen, I know. Right? Yeah. I know. So what That's do you so think, because we've talked about this topic, obviously, in preparation for the show, and, and we'd love to get some audience feedback as well. What do you feel like um, um, the phenomenon is behind? Because you don't see lesbians and straight men, necessarily. Mm -hmm. But you see a lot of gay men with straight men are watching lesbian porn. I think that's the only time. <laughs> they, I think that's the only time they the worlds collide. Yeah. Stop lesbian porn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think it's about companionship? Do you think it's about? Uh, Absolutely. You know, I think um, I think straight women and gay men share a kind of um, similar struggle in that the like. Personal is political, um, particularly around sexual sexuality right. um, and the taboos around sexuality. You know, with, I think straight women can relate to, you know, the sort of societal um, yeah. uh, judgment around mm -hmm. straight women being very sexual beings. But we get these mixed messages all the time, you know. And I think we yeah. have that in common with straight with gay that's men. Really so. excellent, actually. And yeah. I think that's the sort of fundamental thing. That brings us together. That and love of men. Love of men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, and <laughs> shopping. <laughs> now, you guys have like a gay best friend? Do you yeah, have one? we do. I we have like nine. Yeah. <laughs> nine. Some of them yeah. are here. They're here. Yeah. They're here. Yeah. They're here. Yeah. They're here. Yeah. They are um, all co-founders of Swish as well. Oh, so, welcome. So, yeah. Once you go down, I think I'm going to pop like in their relationships, like when they meet somebody and then you're, you're the, the straight woman best friend has ever closed a common relationship. No, we always have to approve, though. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. They have to approve for us. And vice versa. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah. wait, <laughs> well, are, are you seeing somebody right now? I am not, sadly. Like, but actually, she's available. Yeah, seriously. Ding, 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 there you go. But you have a long time boyfriend. I do. We'll be together eight years on Tuesday, actually. Wow. Wow. And, wow. On, and on our first date, I think I told, did I tell you this? I took him, you know, I had to test him. So on our first date, I, he said, he's a DJ, house music DJ. That's, he's not here tonight, he's singing. And um, I said, he said, what do you want to do? And we had this shared love of house music. And I said, I want to go to the Roxy. It was Saturday night. <laughs> and it was sort of a test for him. And so we show, we roll up at the Roxy. And um, I think it's Derek, God bless him, at the door. Took one look at us and looked at Sean and said, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. He couldn't pass then. Now he can pass. But my gaze have worked him over. He can <laughs> See, but you know what's so funny? My sister, who's here tonight, does the same thing. She's like, she laughed her like a second and third. Oh, she's right in there. Don't oh, me. girl, you are fierce. I was looking at you earlier. You know, you know, but it's funny she does that because, I mean, with me and my partner, it's like after the third date, she has, they have to meet us. And if they pass, yeah, they're yeah, good. You have to, yeah. It's hysterical. Yeah. Sean, I remember I was telling this story. Um, our friend Mark has a little bit of a boob fetish. He's gay, gay man. He has a little bit of a boob fetish. A lot of gay men do. It's from when you came. Yeah. So the first time he met Sean, he came into my apartment. And he And I was like, Mark, hi, huh? this is my new boyfriend, Sean. <laughs> and later, Sean said to me, we're in bed, and he's like, do all of your guy friends greet you up? <laughs> and I said, no, just Mark. <laughs> and I said, but you'll get used to it. But now Sean kisses all of them on the mouth, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to make my way out to the audience, so you guys keep, talk keep the conversation yeah. going. Yeah, there, there's also that kind of phenomenon, too, making it can really screw you up your that? head, especially in college. Like, seriously. <laughs> 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 it's weird. There are stories, multiple stories. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
stories. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's like just being in that. It, you, it's just love. It's just expressing love for your girls. Like, yeah, it's love. <laughs> <laughs> like, for some people. No. <laughs> no, but it really is just, it's just an extension of what, you know, as you said. It's, it, there's a lot of passion, and, you know, during, the, especially when, you know, I think gay men are sort of coming out, finding themselves. Yeah. And the women around them are so, you know, caught up in this, you know, Drama. There's bound to be some tongue somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. So, yeah. for you, for those of you that are cute talk virgins, this this is your opportunity, and you can ask any question you want. All we ask is you raise your hand, and we'll come over to you and politely We're not give easily you a shot. Right. Exactly. Yours. Franz warned us. <laughs> in the audience participation. We're like, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> so whoever has a question, please raise your hand, and we'll we'll come over to you and uh, give you a mic so you can be heard. So, what is the downside of being a fag tag? Is there something that you need to watch out for, that the women need to watch out for, as far as relationship is concerned? What is it? What is Wait. Suited restrooms. Oh, that was Yeah, the only downside. Bathrooms and gay bars. Behind the counter says, Oh, girl, 
girl, over here, over here. Yeah, oh, bro, I love those sunglasses. Love those sunglasses. <laughs> and Sean was like, Sean said to me, really? We've been off the plane for like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so important. For me, anyway, it's just so <laughs> Totally great. It's, it, you just find, it is not a seeking out, you know, sort of thing. It just happens. There's something in the air, some like the mom moves, just me. And it's really awesome. You know what's funny? When we were in Stockholm oh, yeah. in 2008, we went for Euro Pride, and you could not, yeah, Stockholm was the most amazing city, but literally, like, you had no idea. All the things that looked gay it was straight. It was so beautiful. You know, Stockholm's hair, like the red pants. Like 20 years ago, and now all the gay boys have hair and so look good. It's so hard to it. label. It's so hard um, to should label. label. That's, that's the so, joke, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see myself <laughs> out. Joke, <laughs> great. Um, how can we find you? You can find Swish on Twitter at Swish Pride. Also online, swishpride.org. We're on Facebook too. Um, we're taking on this challenge this year. We have 1,500 members currently, and we're. Um, our challenge to ourselves and to the community this year is to um, get to 5,000 members by that wow. December 31st. So everyone log on to our social networks and you can find out how to volunteer with us, um, volunteer with our community partners, uh, participate in our events, all of it. But after the show, right? They're they're taking sign-ups in the front. We are oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, we love what you do, ladies. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Yeah. Let us talk.